They're perhaps the ultimate symbol of success, but that means the private jet industry is vulnerable. At Singapore's airshow, private plane makers are well aware China's economy is weakening. Data from Embraer shows China's fleet grew by 6.5% in 2015. That's the slowest rate for 10 years. Claudio Camellia is vice president of marketing and sales. In the past, customers would simply buy the biggest and best airplane out there. Uh, I would say that nowadays they are more uh, focused in really identifying, okay, what is the best airplane for their particular mission? What's the airplane that will serve them better? Bombardier is also finding the economic environment tough. The Canadian plane maker is axing around 7,000 jobs after its 2016 revenue forecasts fell short of analysts' estimates by around a billion dollars. James Bevin is from CCLA. I worry that it has hit almost a perfect storm in terms of the global economic slowdown. And against that backcloth, reductions in job numbers, I fear, are inevitable. But many in the industry are optimistic about the longer-term outlook. David Dixon is president of Jetcraft, a business jet brokerage. China's moving into Africa. It's moving into South America. Well, those are a long way away from here, and they're not traditional areas of uh, ease of travel. I mean, if you look at what China's doing in southern Africa and some of its investments in minerals, uh, agriculture, things like that, um, you'll find the only way to get there is to have a private airplane. One other key factor may help too. Oil prices look set to remain low for some time.